Welcome back to my channel and to another video. As you can probably tell, this is episode two of my Art as Therapy series here on YouTube. If you're new here, my name is Joanna and I'm an artist, designer and illustrator based in Oxford in the UK. If you like art related content and creative content, then please do subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to keep up with everything that I'm up to and yeah, get an insight into my life as a freelance artist and creator. So for this episode of my Art as Therapy series, I wanted to talk about enjoying the process of creating art and the journey of creating a piece of art over focusing on the end result. I feel like this is quite a common struggle that artists and creatives face, focusing on the end result and feeling anxious about a piece throughout the process and worrying through the ugly stage and kind of being like tormented by critical thoughts and um, anxieties about what the world is going to say and think about our art. I know for myself personally I have a very critical voice in my head telling me that the piece isn't going to work out and that it's looking terrible and that I should just give up and yeah I've heard amongst lots of my other creative friends and artistic friends that this is very common and um, which is really sad. I really believe that we are made creative for a reason and that is to enjoy this gift and enjoy creating. And I think so much of the process of creating art can be quite a struggle and quite a torment for a lot of people um, and quite a cause of anxiety. So I just wanted to make this video Firstly, just to like shine a light on this and hopefully make some people realise that they're not alone. Um, but also just to share some tips that I've learned along the way and some mentalities and thought processes that have helped me combat um, the negative thoughts and um, that have helped me to really enjoy making art and just enjoy the process. So. I thought I'd start by talking about the hindrances um, and kind of the reason why I think we experience these uh, negative thoughts or for myself personally why I think I experience them. First of all I struggle massively with perfectionism and I think I always have. I've always been quite competitive with myself and have wanted to push myself to create the best possible work for me at that point in time and this can really suck the enjoyment out of creating art because I'm constantly thinking is this better than my last piece of work is this any good is this worth doing or should I just give up and like lots of just like really critical thoughts going through my head and I think perfectionism plays a huge part in that I think this then stems into um, I guess like social media as well and wanting to have a perfect end result so that I can then share my art on social media and share a particular piece on social media or even monetize it. And then also, I guess, like stemming from this, I think there's a real kind of issue for me personally with comparison, uh, thinking about other artists that I admire and comparing my work to theirs and feeling inadequate. And there are also lots of other things as well, but the last one I wanted to talk about was impatience. We live in such a fast paced society where everything is available to us in an instant and I think wanting to skip through the process of creating a piece of work and just get to the final result so I can then do XYZ with this piece of art can really kind of rob me of the enjoyment of the process and being mindful about what I'm doing in that moment. I think they were some of the main things that I could kind of like pinpoint as being hindrances for myself in enjoying the process. So now I wanted to just share some 
quick tips about how I combat these hindrances and yeah just some thought processes that help me to focus in on the moment and the process and the journey of creating a piece of art. So firstly I like to remind myself that not everything I make has to be posted on social media and be monetized. I can just create for the joy of creating and if I want to post it on social media I can, if I don't want to I don't have to, there's no pressure either way and yeah through that I give myself permission to enjoy the moment and create art just for me and yeah not just create art for the purpose of putting it on social media and monetizing it. Another thing that I like to do to combat these difficult thought processes is to remind myself that making quote unquote bad art is part of becoming more skilled and better at what I do. You have to make some ugly art in order to make good art. Like that is so normal in any skill that you're learning. You have to like struggle through something in order to get better at it. It's like learning an instrument, you can't just pick up a guitar and start playing perfectly. You have to put time and energy into developing your skills and getting better and you're going to make a lot of bad music before you make good music and that's the same with art. Something that maybe is slightly more practical is to hone in on the sensations of making art. Um, this is something that I really like to do to centre myself and bring myself back to the moment and like to help myself get out of my head a bit. Yeah, that's to focus on like my senses and focus on like the materials. Yeah, just the feeling of the paper, the feeling of the paint when you're mixing it. How does it feel holding the paintbrush in your hand? All of these things. What does it sound like when you're using pencil and charcoal on the paper? Like just focusing on those sounds, focusing on those sensations really, really helps to bring me back to the moment and just find pleasure and joy in creating art. And yeah, lastly, I just wanted to say it's totally okay to make art just for the purpose of having fun. I kind of briefly touched on that earlier, but it's totally okay just to make a complete mess and just have fun and just like smush paint around on the page and just enjoy it and see what happens. There's no pressure to create this perfect finished piece. So yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that you're not alone if you experience these thoughts. And yeah, I really hope these tips and like insights have been helpful for you guys. If you have any additional insights and tips please do leave them in the comments so that we can all help each other out and yeah let's get a conversation going in the comments guys I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you reached it to the end I hope you've enjoyed watching me paint this piece as well like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and yeah I'll see you guys next week for another video